Hi, I'm Ellen from The Chili Dog. Often, when you're knitting a color work project like my Cubicle Socks Trio, the pattern will instruct you to use contrasting colors. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I see the term contrasting colors, a basic color wheel pops into my head, and I naturally think something like purple and gold are on opposite sides of the color wheel, so clearly that's contrasting. That could be one approach to choosing your yarn colors. But today, I'd like to share a simple camera trick you can do with the camera on your phone to help you choose contrasting yarns that will make your color work really pop. Because oftentimes, it's better to choose contrasting yarns by their value, not their hue. Let's get started. I don't keep a large yarn stash, so I've pulled out the swatches from my Knit Increase Sampler Square lessons. I used four pastels and four jewel tones. Now, if you were told to pick contrasting colors from these samples, you might pair the pastel pink and green together or the jewel tone green, pink and green together, simply because those colors are on opposite sides of the color wheel. And these combinations are certainly pleasing together. But if you were doing some sort of color work where you wanted part of the stitch work to be very noticeable, pairing the pastel pink and green or the jewel tone pink and green together may not work as well as you think because of the way our eyes perceive color. Contrast isn't just about color's relative locations on the color wheel, it's also about the value of the colors. To keep it simple, color value is how light or dark a color is. It's probably not something we put a lot of thought into, so it can be hard for us to naturally judge. Luckily, our phone camera can help us see color value more clearly. When you're choosing contrasting colors, take a picture of your yarns side by side in good light. Then, edit your photo by applying a grayscale filter. The pastel pink and green that we thought were contrasting have a very similar color value. If we were knitting a color work pattern with them, it would be difficult to distinguish any sort of design. The jewel toned pink and green would work a little bit better because their values are noticeably different. Our eyes and brain would be e would have an easier time interpreting a color work design. And if we really wanted to make the color work pop, I would consider pairing a lighter pastel with a darker jewel tone. Now, which combination do you think would provide the most contrast in value and be easiest for our eyes to distinguish a color pattern? That's right, the jewel tone pink and the pastel green. But look how easy it would be to see a contrast in value if we paired the pastel pink with a jewel tone purple. What if you need to choose three contrasting yarns for a pattern? Instead of picking colors based on the color wheel, try choosing your yarns based on the color values with one lighter value, one medium value, and one darker value, like this combination. Or let's try another. Again, with one lighter value, a medium value, and a darker value, like this one. 
And finally, let's look at another light value, medium value, and dark value, like the ones I used in the Cubicle Socks Trio. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about using grayscale to help you see color value when you're choosing contrasting yarns for a project. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your knitting friends. If you'd like to support our ongoing tutorial videos or try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechillydog.com and look for the Cubicle Socks Trio Pattern. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!